and hell. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and welcome to this week's episode. My name is Blessing Alada Sami, your business English coach for me to his done business orders. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Alright, today we will talk about how you can talk confidently in English with your international clients and partners. You have a lot of us decided to run international meetings and events, but you can say them. Why can't you say them? You're afraid to make grammar errors when you talk in English. You don't want your clients and partners to know that you have working English skills. You can talk with confidence in English in the same way as you. Now, I couldn't talk confidently in English. We tried almost every English TV star, but I couldn't talk confidently to the meetings and events. Now, what they want is international clients and partners to see him as a business owner with work English. So, if you're a meeting star business owner and you want to talk confidently in English, Do meetings in advance. You want to say everything you have in mind when you talk with your clients and partners. You want to be seen as a business owner who has strong English. You need to use the tips that I will give you today to learn how to talk confidently in English with your clients and partners. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this business English podcast with your friends and family. And I say your business friends. Where will you take action to develop strong English for your business? You know, I felt like it was wasting time and money developing strong English to improve business more internationally because it made no progress. Yet, it messaged me and signed up for the one-on-one VIP English program. He didn't just attend English classes like I did before he joined the one-on-one VIP English class. He used his English for his business every day with no excuse. He followed every guide I gave him and showed him for the daily five minute all police assignments to improve his English faster. He took action every day to develop strong English to help his business grow more internationally. So he could develop a strong English his business needs to grow outside of his country. Within eight months, now as he wrote this, Lesson is a jovial person, always ready to listen to me and full of energy. You went through great learning from her. When I started learning from her, I couldn't express myself in public. Now I can speak with confidence and express myself well in English. How will you feel if you develop strong English to help your business grow more internationally? These are the two ways I have made this time business owners like you. The first one is develop strong English with an excellence to grow your business in other countries and make more money. Join the one on one VIP English coaching program for VIP minister founders like you. Investment starts from USD 475 per month to USD 12825 per month. And the second one is making clients, partners, and investors. See you as an international business owner with the help of airless documents in English, premium English provided, and their turn reviewing and writing the top secret documents in English. The investment starts as US to five zero zero per month, but ten pages of your top secret documents every month to for ad delivery. Have you been a medicine founder for more than 10 years and want to develop strong English to grow your business more internationally? Can we go to www.friendlycoach.com slash link? Share the description of this business English podcast anyway you're listening to me. Tap on the link you see in the description to send me a message directly on WhatsApp or a Facebook Messenger. Are you tired of not talking confidently in English during meetings? You can talk confidently in English if you take action. That can help you talk confidently. However, are you taking the right action every day? 
And decide why you take the right actions every day to clean up business outside of your country. You have to take the right actions every day to speak confidently in English. You build your business up to this great level so you can also develop strong English. To up this great business, you have. You are not alone because I know how you feel. When you can talk confidently in English, you don't even afford to meetings and events. You think so much about your words because you default upon grammar errors. You smile and nod when you wish you could negotiate better in English. Do you want to talk confidently in English during international meetings and events? So if you are a meeting stand business owner and you want to talk confidently in English with your clients and partners, you can use these tips to improve how you talk in English. And the first one is, take note of the words you want to say in English to the meetings and events. Take note of the words you want to say in English during meetings or events. And the second one is, it's okay to make mistakes when you talk in English. Talk more in English. Now the third one. Talk more in English during meetings or events. The more you talk, the more you will get confidence. These things look easy, but they work well, and you have to use them every day to improve faster. What if you could talk better in English with your clients? You don't have to keep quiet during meetings or events because of your weak English. Sometimes you ask yourself, can I ever develop strong English for my business? Yes, you can. Just like the way my clients develop strong English for their businesses, you can also do the same. You can get the seven fast ways made for many staff founders like you. Can I get to www.friendlycoach.com slash link? Check the description of this business English podcast. All right. I'll see you there. Just tap on the link you see there so you can send me a message directly. Or you can just tap on that link and then you will see a pop up. Want seven fast ways to improve your business English? Just tap on it to get the seven fast stories. And in case you can see the pop up, no problem. Once you tap on that link, you will see free business English tips. Scroll a bit for you to see free business English tips. Tap on it, putting your email address and your phone name. Alright, you can develop strong English for your business just like no worse. You took action every day to develop strong English to help your business grow more internationally. You didn't just wish. But he took action. So how will you feel if you develop strong English to help your business grow more internationally? These are the two ways I have made it to founders like you. The first one is develop strong English skills. Within eight months to grow your business in other countries and make my money. Join the one who want VIP English coaching program. For VIP made it to founders like you. Investment starts from USA. 4 to 7, 5 per month to USA, 1 to 8 to 5 per month. And the second one is make your clients, your partners, and investors see you as an international business owner with the help of our last documents. Among English, primary language, proofreading and editing, writing, and reviewing for tips of documents on English. The first month starts as USA, 2 5 0, 0 per month. For 10 pages of a top secret documents every month, 24 hard to liberate. A few million minutes of founder for more than 10 years. I want to develop strong English to grow your business more internationally. Can you tap on the link you say? Get to special link of business of this podcast to send me a message. Please don't forget to. Buy me coffee and you support this business in week podcast. Thanks to every one of you for listening to me every Friday. Well, I appreciate you. All right.
And the first tip that I have here for you is this. No, that's not the first. Sorry, a bit sick. Ah, the first tip that I have here for you is this. Say English words clearly, so your clients and partners can understand you when you talk in English. During meetings and during international events. And the fifth one is, read English books related to business you do to help you name more English words that are used in the business you do. And this will also help you have, this will help you know a lot of words that you can use in business you do. And this is to ask. Start negotiating international deals with English. Do you should let you learn how to talk in English anywhere and anytime, even when you are not comfortable. Alright, thanks guys for joining me and for listening to for this moment. I love you and leave you. Take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, this place went up so far. Thank you. Alright. I appreciate you with all my heart. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast. Also, do not forget to get free business English tips from me to his son business owners. Go to friendlilycoach.com slash link to get yours. Friendlilycoach.com slash link to get yours. Need more free time, error for business documents, business card raising, 100% privacy, premium English proofreading, and a detail of your important business documents. DM proofread. Go to friendlilycoach.com slash link and tap on WhatsApp to DM afraid John 101 we high pay English coaching programs for media stand business owners is only for 8 to 12 months step-by-step English coaching programs to help media stand business owners get more business deals and expand their business internationally with improve business English skills within 8 to 12 months DM 101 go to fellanicoach.com slash link and tap on WhatsApp to DM one on one. All right, how do you spell friendlilycoach.com? I'm sure you can see my name, friendlilycoach, write it together in small letters and add dot C O M slash L I N A. You can also check the description of this podcast episode and that you will see from lilycoach.com slash link tap on it and tap on whatsapp to dm me now thanks once again for joining me and see you next time bye